Oh, hello there. Well, well, I suppose you've come to learn about population genetics. Let me show you. Let's look at this group of females, living peacefully, enjoying the warm rays of the sun. But wait, something is hiding in the tall grass. Ah, a great example of gene flow. The new male joins the group, bringing in fresh genetic material. In most species, the female gets to choose the fastest, strongest mate out of a wide range of competing males. But sometimes, sexual selection is taking what you can get. Especially in small populations, the possibility for genes to increase their frequency is quite high. We call this genetic drift. Nature holds countless surprises. This one, for example, very different from its parents. A new hope for its tribe. Look at this mutant beguiling the females with its, its big, shiny horns. Yeah. But life is not always calm and peaceful. Countless dangers lurk around every corner. Weather, sickness, climate change, and carnivores. Natural selection. How can you be so random? The five factors of population genetics lead to many, many different shapes and expressions. Finding your own niche and staying alive is hard. All the possibilities, the dangers, the endless worlds! You might ask yourself, Professor Frecklebottom, you're so much more intelligent than me. How will I ever learn? Don't worry, because just like me, you can get your biology degree by playing Niche, a genetic survival game. What? You're still there? Go study, I tell you.